Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about data visualization. Data visualization is a representation of data through the use of graphics, such as plots and charts. The graphics helps to communicate complex data relationships. Data visualization is a common task in UI design, but creating a plot or chart is a time-consuming task. That is why I want to review a few popular plugins for Figma that can help us with that. And in this video I will review five popular plugins. Charts plugin will be the first plugin on our list. This plugin offers a collection of popular chart types such as line, scatter, area, bar, and pie chart. And it also offers a few customization options for each type of a chart such as number of series, number of data points, and range start and end. And the great thing about this plugin that it also offers a preview mode so we can change the settings and see what we will get before creating an actual chart. We can play with the settings here and add the chart. And once we do that, it will create a chart for us as objects that we can play with to customize it. For example, I want to change the styling of this line, make it different color, such as a red. Or I want to create this, the background for the plot and make it the lines different color. For example, legend will be green, for example. So this, this is the first plugin on our list. Another plugin that I usually use for the simple charts is called ChartLine. And as you probably guess, it allows us to create a simple line chart. We can modify things like a number of points, make it more points or less points, um, change the slope, make it more narrow or more pointy, uh, smoothing for the curve, make it smooth or sharp. And also we can change the type for the straight and all curved. And once we add the chart line, we will add an object that we can also double click and modify if we want. So this is it. The next one is called FigPy and it allows us to create a simple pie chart. We can add or remove number of slices. For example, I want to add another slice here and I also add more weight to this slide, a slice. So for example, here you can see that the slides that we added has 20 data points, while other have five data points. And we can also change diameter, for example, make it 400 pixels and uh, choose the temp to the different one. Once we create the chart, it will also add the object here. So we can also change it to the different one. Uh, this is it. And uh, the next one is plugin is called chart. And this plugin allows to create different kinds of charts, but it's available in both free and pro mode. Unfortunately, the free mode is limited to only two types of the charts. It's a linear chart and it's a segmented, I would say, chart. While other charts is available in a pro version. Pro version costs $20 uh, per year for the individuals and $10 for the organizations per month. For the charts, we can play with the different settings, such as data. We can change the number of data points that the chart has. And the great thing that we can import it as a JSON file or as a table. And for the style, we can change the color and the number of labels, a legend, uh, etc. So once we create a chart, it will create a chart that we can also can play with in Figma, so it will be vector. Uh, we can move it here or there, and also can play with the styling settings, such as, uh, for example, we can change the color of the elements, make it, uh, for example, different kinds of a color here. For example, I want to make it red. All right, and the last plugin on our list is called NB Charts. And NB charts, I would say the most uh, sophisticated plugin on our list because it offers a lot of customization options. For example, it allows us to change the basic information about the chart, labels, and uh, styles for the lines, horizontal and vertical lines. 
such as, for example, we can make it dotted or solid. And uh, the data can be represented also as data points with a specific styling. For example, we can make it line or select the whole area in a chart. The same as the previous one, uh, it, this plugin is also available in the two versions. The free version offers only three types of charts, line, column, and bar chart, while other options are hidden behind the paywall, but it costs $20 and it's one-time payment. So it won't be annual payment, it will be one-time payment. In order to create a chart, we need to select the area and then add required options such as that and draw it. So this is it. This is the first chart with that we can generate it. And let me design another chart just to, to show you how the settings works. So we will remove this one and that one. And I will also want to add these settings, all right? Make it, let's make it red, right? Uh, all right, so let's draw it we can customize the chart and use it. So this is it. Thank you.